We are cruising through the month of May, so let's see what's on tap this holiday weekend. We're going to start in Du Bois County, uh, Huntingburg, 4th Fridays, May 26th, the Market Street Park. That is at 5 goes through 10. This is happening every fourth Friday, as you can probably guess, in Huntingburg throughout the summer months. It is free to attend. As you can see, live music, food trucks, entertainment for the entire family. So that's pretty cool. Then the Jasper Farmers Market. A lot of farmers markets kick off in the month of May. This is no exception in Jasper. It kicks off on Saturday. It will run for 20 weeks. It's 8 to noon. And you will find it behind the Tin Clark Culture Center there in Jasper. All sorts of different products and vendors for your family to enjoy for the next 20 weeks weeks. I don't know that what that takes you through. Maybe what's 20 weeks from now, October? I have no idea. Moving right along, we've got the Ghost Walk. That is at Lincoln State Park in Spencer County. A little spooky fun for you this Memorial Day weekend. That's at 7 o'clock Saturday. It is free to attend, but for your car to enter the park, if you're in state, it's $7. If you're out of state, it's $9. And you meet at Lincoln Amphitheater and go from there. Then we've got the Good Time Gala. That's Saturday from 5 to 9 at Beloved Farms in Spencer County. It is a chance for music, food trucks, games, and a bonfire for your family to enjoy. Then we've got the Haunted New Harmony Ghost Walk. That is Saturday as well, making a comeback. This time, no zombies or costume contest is involved. This is just the regular uh, ghost walk uh, brought to you by Haunted New Harmony. That takes place at 8 o'clock. It's about an hour and a half. It is $20 to attend, and you always meet at 402 North Street there in New Harmony for that ghost walk. Then we've got the Run Victoria 5K, making a return to Warwick County. That is brought to you by the Warwick Trails and Warwick Parks Foundation. It benefits both of them. That is happening this Saturday at 9 o'clock. You meet at Friedman Park. So there's also, um, with the 5K, there is also a one-mile race and a kid's dash. Can we go... Can we go back to that just for one second? There you go. And it is $25 for the 5K and $10 for the smaller amounts to walk or run there. And then we do have the Strawberry Social returning, brought to you by Historic Newburgh. In our next half hour, we'll have a live interview with those folks there. That's happening this Sunday. So if you go on a run the day before at Victoria, then you've earned your strawberry shortcake the next day. Noon to 4 p.m. at the old Lock and Dam there in Newburgh. Strawberry shortcakes are $5, but it is free to attend the actual event. There's going to be food trucks there, other vendors, games for families and inflatables for kids to enjoy, but it is $5 if you want that strawberry shortcake. Come see me. I will be there volunteering and handing you out plenty of strawberry shortcake on Sunday. Then we have the Evansville Antique Show returning this weekend. That's Friday through Sunday. Noon to 5 are the times there, and then 9 to 4 p.m. are the other times the rest of the weekend. The preview's on Friday. That's at the Vanderburg 4-H Center. Tons of antiques for you to enjoy. Get some summer shopping going. It's $4 to attend. Then we got the Big Fish musical. It is the final weekend of the musical, and this is the final production, final three shows at the Evansville Civic current location theater there, Evansville Civic Theater, Columbia and Fulton. Next year, they'll move to Bossy High School. So if you want to see the last show in that building, you can at 7.30 and 2, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's uh, Big Fish, the movie based on, uh, the musical based on the movie with Ewan McGregor, and that is $15 to attend. And also we have Lunch on the Lawn that returns this Friday, the old uh, courthouse lawn there in downtown Evansville from 11 to 2. Food trucks and vendors for you to enjoy. We've got Franklin Street Bazaar. That is returning as well this summer, and it kicks off this Saturday from 9 to 1. It is in the 2000th block of West Franklin Street. All sorts of vendors for you as well. I'll be volunteering at that as well this Saturday, so come by and see me. I'll be at the Junior League booth, and that runs for several weeks throughout the summer. And then we have the Eat the Invasives. This is kind of cool. It's a garlic mustard workshop brought to you by Angel Mounds Historic Site. And you'll actually be making a pizza and putting this on there and taking it with you. That's Saturday from noon to 2, and it's $12 to attend. And you'll be making some, like, garlic pesto sauce for pizzas, and it's natural, and you can take it with you. So it's pretty fun. And then we have the Professional Bull Riders Challenger Series that is stopping by the Ford Center on Saturday at 7 o'clock, and it is $25 to attend. Evansville Food Truck Festival, we've been talking about this event for the past couple of weeks. Ron's been doing some Tasty Tuesdays there. That is this Sunday at Bossy Field from 1 to 8. And depending on what kind of VIP access you want, depends on the ticket price you'll pay. The basic price is $9. And then for VIP, it's $32 and $42 from there. And then we have the Evansville Memorial Day Walk and Run. That is coming up Memorial Day Monday at Garvin Park. It starts at 8. And there is a 5K and a 10K option for you.
get some. You go to the food truck festival, you run it off the next day. Road to the Rodeo, that is happening Saturday at 3 in Henderson at the county fairgrounds. It is $5 to attend. This happens throughout uh, the month of June leading up to the fair. And then we have Bloody Blues and Barbecue. That is Sunday from 3 to 6 at the Elm in downtown Henderson. There's barbecue, music, and shopping. And then we got the Mariachi in the Garden. This is a cool event tonight from 5 to 9 at the Western Kentucky Botanical Garden. It's $10 to attend food trucks, vendors, music, all sorts of things at the Western Kentucky Botanical Garden. It's a cool place in Owensboro. And then we have Yellowstone-themed Cork and Cuisine. People have wanted this for a while. That's tonight at the Owensboro Convention Center. It is a five-course meal featuring cowboy caviar that Joe made yesterday on the air. Starts at $6, $75 per person or 130 per couple. There's going to be trivia and prizes uh, based on Yellowstone as well. And then we have the Geo Woodstock 2023. It's a geocache event. Downtown Owensboro. They've done this before. It's popular. It's returning Friday through Monday. And this will also feed into downtown um, during Friday after 5 as well. And they've got a special edition with National Geo Woodstock. So they're partnering with them. The Michael Goff Group performs and Girl Scouts and Youth Sports events will also be featured tomorrow night. Then we got Mayfest Market. That's Saturday from 10 to 1 at the Party Space Place in Owensboro. Stop by. What else? Do we have anything else? Yes, the Soft Focus Photography Masters Exhibit. The opening preview is Saturday from 6 to 8 at the Owensboro Museum of Fine Art.